Kate Middleton accidentally revealed William's one bad habit that drives her insane. Princess Kate once unintentionally shared a habit of Prince William's that drives her crazy, it's a behavior that we can all identify with. The Princess of Wales's dissatisfaction left housekeepers at the royal residence in little doubt as to what irked her the most about her husband. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British royal family. In 2018, it occurred during the couple's visit to an RAF facility in Cyprus. A new relaxation center was inaugurated, and Prince William cautioned RAF members not to put food near the furnishings. Keep the pizza off the sofas, he uttered. You're a nightmare with it, Kate retorted. However, the mother of three claims that the daily record that their battle to keep their furnishings clear of crumbs is a continuous one because they frequently have takeout. Additionally in 2017, the Princess of Wales was asked if she and her family ever had takeout and what her favorite was during an interview with BBC Radio 1. Definitely, she answered, and curry, too. We typically go pick it up instead of having it ordered to the castle, playfully adding, not ourselves, William said that he prefers a tastier meal, but Kate likes hers hot. In 2020, he said on his podcast, to footballer Peter Crouch that he is not a Vindaloo man put it that way and would much rather have chicken tikka masala. Speaking on Radio 1, Prince William also mentioned how his police protection officer introduced him to Nando's and how much he loved the eatery. Even though the royal family has easy access to some of the best food on earth, takeaways are a common treat, the late queen even indulged in the occasional one. However, the late queen's favorite meal was made considerably closer to home, since it is said that while she was in Scotland, her footman would get her a fish dinner. Before, an insider told Fabulous that she only rarely treated herself to fish and chips when at Balmoral. A footman is sent to retrieve it from Balata, the nearby town. Additionally, it was reported that she had unexpectedly enjoyed kebab in the past after royal writer Jane Seymour disclosed that Sandringham House received a delivery order from Crazy Kebab's takeout in Swatham. Jane was informed by the delivery man, I thought the food was for a servant. However, a butler removed it and claimed it was for the Queen when I arrived at the gate. We are renowned in Norfolk for having the best kebabs, so hopefully she enjoyed it. However, King Charles is undoubtedly more inclined to favor Italian food. While greeting people in St. Boswell's in November 2019, he was on a trip to Scotland and received a pizza from a member of the public. I wanted to give him the pizza since he is such a major part of this country, Chef Erminio Di Mio said to the Press Association. It's a margarita. I said. He may have stated, it's my favorite. William started the morning with a visit to honor Low Carbon Materials, a finalist for his Environmental Earthshot Prize. William is working alone while his wife Kate Middleton receives cancer treatment. The CM, County Durham-based business produces innovative, carbon-negative goods. During their visit, William was able to hear their thoughts on how their company, founded by three PhD students in material science, has benefited from being nominated for the prize. Their goal is to become a global leader in ecologically friendly and low-carbon construction materials. The Prince's second visit was to inaugurate James's Place Newcastle in Newcastle-upon-Tyne. On April 29, he celebrated his 13th wedding anniversary with Princess Kate. The charity is the most recent of numerous centers that William has opened for the organization, and it offers a vital lifeline for men who are contemplating suicide. William has been a significant voice in promoting awareness of mental health issues, including men's suicide, as part of his larger lobbying efforts. After their son James passed away in 2006, Claire Milford Haven and Nick Wentworth Stanley founded James's Place. In the United Kingdom, suicide is the top cause of death for men under 35, with men three times more likely to commit suicide than women. Since opening its doors in January, 
James's place Newcastle has assisted 140 men, out of the 2,300 suicidal men the organisation has treated.